Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. Not too long ago Apple introduced Safari 3.1, a small upgrade to our favorite browser. This upgrade included a couple of new features that are worth taking a look at. Let's do that on this episode of MacMost Now. The three features I'm talking about are embedded fonts, the ability to use video and audio tags on your web pages, and also the ability to do transitions with some of the elements on your page. Let's take a look at each one with an example. First let's take a look at transitions. So transitions are basically little style tags using CSS and they allow you to go ahead and add some simple things like fades or rotations. So for instance here we've got a style tag that adds a fade test class and this one will put an opacity of 0.25 here one quarter opacity and we'll basically do a linear transition of one second. To activate this transition what we need to do is use on mouse over and on mouse out and we can set the opacity to something different like 1 or 0.25. Now if you're not a web designer don't worry about it. Here's the result which is what you'll be more interested in. Here's three boxes and they're kind of faded gray boxes but as you roll over each one it will come into focus like that. So this will allow web designers to create interesting interfaces. You can also rotate boxes and do other things to them like changing the colors and have them smoothly transition say from one color to the other. So this will really up the ante in terms of what you can do with cool web 2.0 interfaces using Safari 3.1. Next let's look at embedded fonts. So you can see here I've got a piece of text here that uses an extremely weird font. Now this font is not on my machine and it's probably not on yours either. But it doesn't matter because we're going to use another style sheet definition here to describe a font. Give it a font family name, a URL to the true type font, and then we actually describe the div tag font test to use that font. And we're using it at a large size just to demonstrate. Then this tag down here is simply using that class and just displaying this font. So again, if you're not a web designer, the important thing to know is that you could actually have web pages now that display interesting fonts and you don't have to have those fonts in your machine. So websites are no longer restricted to just the fonts that everybody has on all their machines, at least not for Safari 3.1 users. Now Safari is also the first major browser to go with a new part of HTML that allows for video and audio to be embedded into web pages. Now of course we already see this all the time. It's usually using the embed or object tag on Internet Explorer is embedding usually Flash or QuickTime movies using the embed tag. But we've had an image tag for a long time since the beginning so why not a video tag and an audio tag. Well Safari 3.1 is the first major browser to add these. So what we've got here is an example of a video tag and it basically specifies the video which is in this case an MP4 QuickTime movie really and a width and a height and that it's going to use controls. And there we go. We've got the video embedded in very simply without having to add an embed tag. The only problem with this, of course, is that it will work with QuickTime type movies, not with Flash video, which of course is the majority of web video, like stuff that's seen on YouTube. You still have to use the embed tag for those. Audio files work a little bit better as they should work with just about any audio format in a similar way. Now, of course, this is all academic, kind of. I mean, if you're a web developer, you're probably not going to use any of these things because you want your content to work on both Mac and Windows and you also want it to work in the cross-platform Firefox browser. Microsoft Internet Explorer and Firefox don't support any of these. So of course you're only going to use them in cases where you know the user is using Safari. But in cases like our website we might get a chance to use them because we know most of the people that come to our site are using Safari. And these things depreciate well. By that I mean if you try to use say some of the transitions the transition simply won't work if you're not using Safari 3.1. The elements will still be there. They may not fade in or fade out or rotate or whatever. So it's still a chance for us to use some special effects for Safari 3.1 users while having pages that work perfectly fine for everyone else. The larger picture is that if Safari 3.1 supports these, then perhaps the other browsers will follow. Firefox can follow very quickly and very easily with some of these because it's an open source browser. Internet Explorer might take some time, but eventually we may see support for some or all of these in all browsers. And of course since the Safari browser is the browser of the iPhone we may see some of these on websites specific to the iPhone. For instance the embedded fonts can be very handy as you can't really install fonts on the iPhone. So the ability to embed special fonts 
in a web page and then having them work on the iPhone will be a great plus for iPhone web developers. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.